Well, hello scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would show you my ICD legging process. You know, I take the legs off of my plastic ICs before I process them just so I have less junk metal to deal with. So here I've got a whole bucket full of plastic ICs that are about ready to go into the delegging process, okay? Um, first step in the process is always sorting. So I only put plastic ICs through this process for various reasons. You know, I have, um, I have videos on how I handle ceramic ICs, so I always sort out the ceramic ICs and they go through a different process. And I'll put a link to um, the ceramic IC process in the upper right if you're interested. And I also sort out any ICs that might potentially be useful for my retro computing projects over in on my second channel. And I'll put a link to the second channel at the end of this video if you want to check it out. But, you know, I've built a lot of, of computer projects on that second channel and I've done it almost entirely with um, scrap IC chips I've salvaged. You know, I uh, got them for free. Usually they work. I'll test them. Every once in a while I get a bad one, but usually they work. But anyway, so that's my three piles. That's for the retro computing projects. This is ceramic ICs for a different process. And then we've got all of these here, which need to be delegged. And then they'll go through my uh, plastic IC process to get the gold out of there. there. Might be a little silver there too that we could uh, get from them. So anyway, let me show you this delegging process, how it works. All right, so I dissolve the legs off of my IC chips chemically. I don't do it mechanically. Some people do it mechanically, that's fine for them. The volume of IC chips I go through is just way too huge to try and do it mechanically one at a time. I got better things to do. I'm gonna let the chemicals do the work while I do something else, okay? So the heart of my delegging system is these two five gallon buckets over here. And these buckets contain muriatic acid. As the level of the liquid in the buckets goes down, I just top it off with more muriatic acid. So there's probably close to two gallons in each one at this point. Um, these buckets have been delegging IC chips for a couple of years now. The liquid inside is very green and very concentrated in copper and tin from delegging the chips. Also iron, I'm sure, because a lot of the legs are steel on chips. But this does a really good job of delegging them, okay? But Beyond just soaking them in muriatic acid, I've got little hoses coming off here. They're going over to fish tank bubblers over here. I've got a fish tank bubbler for each of these buckets. And it's just bubbling air through the buckets. And that really helps the delaying process. The oxygen in there really helps the muriatic acid attack the copper, which is very, very resistant to muriatic acid. So. The, the air bubbling in there really helps a lot. It takes the legs off really quick, especially during the warmer months, like now. It's about 90. I'm standing out here in the sun filming this. Um, yeah, this really takes the legs off quick. The heat, um, the muriatic acid, and the oxygen, they really deleg the chips quick. How long can I keep reusing this liquid, just topping it off with more muriatic acid? I don't know. It hasn't stopped yet. But, uh, like I said, the liquid is very full of um, iron, copper, and tin salts right now. And at some point, I will try to recover those from this liquid. But for now, I'm just going to let the good times roll because I've got other things I need to do. And i got a whole bunch of IC chips that need delegged. So normally, these buckets live up under my workbench there, my outdoor workbench. But I brought them out so you can get a better look at them. I have half geodes on top of the lids. The lids are fit very loosely because I'm bubbling air through, so you know air has to be able to come out. So the lids are just sitting on there loosely, and you know I'm into lapidary too, I do a lot of that, but every once in a while I'll cut an ugly geode that I don't want to polish. I just use them as weights to hold the lids on. So that's what's going on there. Let's get a closer look at what's going on in these buckets, and we'll load one up with chips. And I think that the stuff, this bucket here, should be ready for the chips to come out. So we'll get a look at chips going in, and we'll get a look at chips coming out. Okay? Okay, so this bucket should be ready to receive some chips. Take the geodes off. Yeah. Now what I've got here is 
a colander down in here that I can pull up out like this. Oh, this has chips in it. Okay, so this has some chips in it. Um, I didn't think it had chips in it. I thought this bucket was empty, but obviously I was mistaken. Well, that's okay. We will process these chips and we will reload this bucket. So you can see how green the liquid is coming out of there, okay? So, I got it all over my fingers now. Nasty. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give these chips a little rinse with water to try and get the bulk of this green liquid out of them. And uh, as you can see, there are no legs. The legs are all gone. Uh, even the dual inline chips, the legs are all gone. There's nothing here anymore. I got some LEDs in here. Their legs are all gone. I tend to throw my LEDs in with my IC chips. You know, LEDs have have a little gold whisker in each one. Plus, there's a little silver reflector in each one. So, LEDs are worth pro uh, processing, but not alone. I just throw them in with the IC chips. Okay? So, what I want to do is just set these aside really to dry now. Set these aside to dry. And we'll uh, reload this basket and put it down in there. Huh, maybe both these have chips in them that are done. I've been out of town for a while, so I kind of lost track of uh, which bucket had what in it. But apparently they both have chips in them, because I know this one has chips in them that should be done. So we're going to both reload it. So here goes another batch of chips. And you got to be careful, because these chips will poke holes in your gloves. And this is really nasty liquid that you don't want getting inside your gloves. So, yep, I poked a hole in one of my gloves. So now I've got a green stained index finger. I don't know how well that's showing up. Video doesn't show the color as well as it does to my eye. But, yeah. And that doesn't wash off. This is after multiple washings. So I'm going to have to uh, just wait for that to wear off, I guess. And it's probably not healthy to be exposed to that stuff. So I probably need to start wearing multiple pairs of gloves when I'm doing this. Lower this down into the bucket, like so. Get all the chips to sink. All right. Um, let me turn the bubbler on, because the bubbler is not on here. I thought there was nothing going on in this bucket. So there we got bubbling going now. So probably less than two weeks I'm thinking those chips are going to be done. I don't even have to add any muriatic acid to it because the level's not down too low. So we're just going to let that roll. Let me put the, uh, the lid back on it loosely, the geodes back on it to keep the wind from blowing it off. And um, here we got a bunch of chips right here ready ready for the next process, basically incineration, although I'll let them sit and dry for a while. So let's see what's in this bucket. I know there's chips in this bucket that should be ready. Yeah. Got a little foamy in there. I can knock the foam down with a little spray of water. Bubbler's running on that one, because I knew there were chips in that one. Ooh, this one's... There we go. Put my little screen over here, and uh, again, get rid of as much of this green liquid as I can. And again, we have perfectly delegged chips. Well, almost perfectly. That one's still got a few. That's well, rubbing right off. I guess it just looks like legs, but it's not. 
Now, uh -oh, every once in a while a ceramic chip sneaks by me and gets in there. So, sometimes they're hard to spot. Get as much of this green liquid out as I can. It says this green liquid is hygroscopic. There's another ceramic chip that snuck by me. The ceramic chips, I don't really like to put them in here. I don't know if that gold is showing up. But uh, a lot of times the ceramic chips fall apart in here. And uh, the gold will wind up in the bottom of the bucket. Which, I can process the stuff in the bottom of the bucket from time to time. But I would rather just process the ceramic chips separately. And there's another one. There's another one right there. Boy, a lot of ceramic chips snuck by me. I must have been asleep at the switch the day I loaded this up. So anyway, here we go. Fodder for the blooper reel, the next blooper reel. I just put out a blooper reel. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll put a link in the upper right. So there we go. That's ready to receive some more chips. Clean my hands off first before I touch anything else. Get this liquid all over everything. Like I say, it's hygroscopic. It will not dry. It'll just stay wet. Pull moisture out of the air. Okay. And it's very corrosive. It will corrode anything it touches with metallic. That down in there. Oh good, they're all sinking. Well. There we go. Okay, good. Alright, so again in about two weeks, that'll be ready. We'll have some more nice de-legged IC chips for the next step in the process, which like I said, is incineration. Alrighty, so here's a big batch of now legless IC chips with some LEDs in here too. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to dry out a little bit. It's not going to dry out totally, like I said, because this liquid is hygroscopic and there's always going to be traces of it on there. But once they're a little drier, I'll throw them in this bucket labeled legless IC chips. And they will be ready for the next time I do um, a, a chip incineration and get the gold and silver out of them. I have a lot of videos on doing that. So we're not going to go into that today. I'm just showing you my delegging process. But uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link to one of my uh, videos in the upper right how I get uh, um, gold and silver out of uh, plastic IC chips. So you can check that out. But at least they're nice and delegged and they're ready to go on to the next process. So anyway, if you found this video at all interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever, give it a like. Subscribe to see my future videos. And check out my second channel where I said some of these chips are going to wind up uh, over there in retro computing projects. If you're at all interested in electronics or retro computing, check that out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.